Guys, today I'm going to do Mob Wives um, Season 5, Episode 2. No notes, just going off what I remember of the show. Um, let's get the shit that we didn't really care about out the way. Like, um, what's his name? AJ and Renee. Renee got some, she went to the DMV, tried to register her car, pay some tickets off or whatever. Come to find out, this little motherfucker got like five or six of tickets he lost his license so she's upset and she like she see him going down the road of his dad and she like if she don't nip it in the bud now she gonna he gonna be down the road of his dad i'm like didn't his daddy go to jail for snitching i don't know but i i can get what she's saying because you know i have a son too so you know you don't want your child to go down the wrong way of their of, of the parent you know what i'm saying so, I get what she's saying. Um, that little motherfucker, though, he, he, he too old to act the way he acts. I understand, you know, teenagers don't want to get put on blast on camera with their parent or whatever. But he is so in my fucking tour, I would have punched him in the face and threw him out of my car. Like, you want to be motherfucking grown? That's how you be grown. Get your ass out. But no, she was like, I'm going to send you to your grandfather or whatever. And, okay, whatever. But I'm like, yo, daddy just got out of jail. I don't know. But apparently he's scared of his, um, his grandfather. Um, anything else that was non-relevant? I don't remember. Who cares? Um, Karen meets up with, what's her name? Renee. And she's in a studio at Storm Studio, her boyfriend. She listened to some music. Uh, Renee comes in. And they're talking because she said, oh, you surprised me the other night when you came to the party. So she was like, yeah, I came to be there for you, whatever. So then they start talking about um, Natalie. <sighs> Don't like her. Um, she, they were talking about, you know, what happened with Natalie running out or whatever. Never want to own up to shit. Then she started telling her about, um, the whole situation with Natalie and social media. And how Natalie called the police on her and all this kind of stuff. Karen, uh, Renee brings up the whole situation of the girls being mad at her. And it's all because of Natalie and her damn mouth. She said that, um, Drita... Hit her up and wants to meet with her of all the stuff that's going on. She was like, I did not say none of that stuff that Natalie is supposed to say I said about her, um, about Lee or whatever. Okay. So then she meets up, Renee meets up with, um, oh girl, Renee meets up with Drita. Drita, I want to like her. I want to like her. But <laughs> she come. Karen do Karen come off like she thinks she hard, but something about Drita really make it. Just, I don't like people to just be like, I will punch their face in and woo woo woo. Just, if you lose the fight, then what you gonna say? Cause I just hate a bitch that thinks she can win every fight. I'm sorry, it's some reality. Come back to reality. You win some, you lose some. Just stop acting like you just gonna whoop any and everybody ass. Okay. Have confidence in your skills, but come on now, be fucking for real. She just be putting extras on it, and it be irritating me. Um, so she's talking about if Renee get out of the line, she gonna bust her in the face or whatever. I give her that she did tell Renee as soon as she sat down. When she sat down, she was like, "Look, let's get into it," because I'm pissed off. And she was like, "Um, I heard you said something. If you said that, I'm gonna punch you in your face." I was like, "Wait." Hold on. That's not how you come to a motherfucking grown woman conversation, first of all. I get that, you know, she was bold enough to say what she said in the confessionals to her face. But that's not how you come to a grown woman conversation. I don't give a fuck who you are or what family you from. I'm just saying. Um, so, now that, I mean, homegirl, Renee is like, why are you listening to this? Even when she was, I was laughing when she talked, um, she was in that confessional and was like, why are you believing? She said something about why do you believe something from a crackhead or something. She called that girl a crackhead, and I know that shit. That whatever line that was, that shit was funny as fuck. 
But her whole thing is, why would you believe somebody that you, that's an outsider to us? We've been knowing each other for 20 fucking years, and you just jumped and believed what this girl is saying. And I said that the last time. I have a problem with people just jumping and believing what they hear instead of going to the source. And then now you're talking, starting all this other fucking drama, when you could have just went to the source in the fucking first place. I don't like Nally and I think she messy and like she told her she's messy she don't like me so she's gonna get you guys not to like me and then you know Drita was like why would she do that she was like because if if y'all not friends if I'm not friends with her and y'all friends with me and I go pull her motherfucking hair she's scared that it's gonna be a problem like you guys gonna go on my side so she has to turn out against me okay Maybe no tr truth to that. Maybe some truth to that. I just got where Renee was coming from. Because I just feel like if y'all have a friendship for that long, a person can't just meet me and then tell me you said this and I'm just going to automatically believe them unless you already got some beef with me. You know what I'm saying? So, then, um, you know, Renee tells her, about because you know Drita was like well if this bitch lying to me I'm gonna drag her motherfucking ass like whoever lying to me that's who I'm gonna drag that's basically what Drita was saying so she tells Drita about Nally calling the police on uh Karen so Drita was like I don't fuck with cop callers I was like yes we come from the same motherfucking place because we don't get down like that like bitch if you not if somebody no I, we don't I, I'm not with that. I, I don't know. Maybe that was the way I was raised. <laughs> and I need to get out that hood shit. But we don't call the police. We just handle that shit and let it keep it fucking pushing. You win some, you lose some. But we don't fucking call the police. Then the police come and beat up motherfuckers that they ain't got no business beating up on. You know, it's always some extra shit when the police got to be called. Ain't nobody got time for that. Um. So, she was like, if this bitch is a cop caller, I can't fuck with her. So, then, somehow, I think it was Karen, Drita, and Big Ant. Big Ant was saying how she was having this party for her seven-year anniversary at the Drunken Monkey. So, she was like, I'm going to invite everybody and they fans except for Big Ant and, um, you know, she can't come. I mean, Renee can't come. She ain't cool with Renee yet. So, you know, maybe they'll work out their differences or whatever. They do need to sit down and talk. So, um, she was, they was talking about that. Karen just basically like, I don't fuck with her. You know, she came from my family. So, I don't fuck with her. You come for me, but you don't come for my family. So, they was like, you know, everybody need to talk, yada, 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 whatever. I think it was Renee. No, Karen meets up with her boyfriend. And, um... She's talking to him about everything going on and about the party and how everybody's going to be there. That's for some reason, I like Storm. I like him. It was just like something manly about him. And that I was like, oh, okay, I like him. And on the other hand, because they was all talking about how she called the police. And this whole storyline was about her calling the police. She didn't call the police. Whatever. So... Nally is with her dude talking, and they're talking about the whole situation of what both of went down. Apparently, London fixed it with a uh, storm. And, you know, like, Storm approached, supposedly approached him about the whole social media thing. And they kind of squashed it or whatever. Like, check your girl. My girl ain't about that shit. Check your girl. Whatever. Apparently, they squashed it. I'm going to explain why I think they squashed it. So, um, when she talking to London or whatever, London is like, leave that shit alone. It's not, you know, I, I handled that. Don't worry about it. She's getting mad at London because London is not taking her motherfucking side on this whole situation. I look at it like this because, you know, I grew up in the hood. London is like, fuck that. I am from New York. This motherfucker is known out here and he's big out here. You live in fucking Philly. You can go home. I'm just going to be out here. I have to deal with this. Let me deal with this so it won't be no backlash and I get fucked up while you way over there. That's basically how he came off to me. 
So let's get into this party. So they all get to this party. Now he's talking mad motherfucking shit about uh, Karen and her dude and how she'll fuck him up and she this and she that and she hard. Talking all this shit. Karen and her dude walk in there. That bitch hurry up and took her ass out of there when Karen and her dude walked up. She goes outside once again smoking a cigarette talking about... She was talking gang of shit and then was like, when they walked in, I saw this big motherfucker and all I could think about is where's London at? You were just talking all that shit. Why are you worried about where London at? Remember? So she goes outside or whatever. And her and um, London is talking. And her and London gets into it. Because he's not. I, no. What happened was. She was outside. Smoking her cigarette. Venting. Whatever. As she's outside. London walks up. And he. You know, he walks up to Storm and Karen, and he basically cool with them. And everybody looking like, what the fuck? But I was like, I told this motherfucker is not going to be, he is not going to fight this girl battles and get fucked up for her. I'm sorry. It's something even about him last season. I was like, he's not that into this girl. Maybe he's with her for the show, but London is not into Natalie the way Natalie thinks. I'm just saying. So, um, you know, they cool, they talking, they laughing and shit. He throwing his girl under the bus. I told y'all in my Hollywood video, this video, this is the year, 2014 is the year of bitch ass dudes. Because he was throwing his girl under the fucking bus. Regardless if you agree with her or not, mm -mm. you were supposed to approach them with your girl, but... Now we see who was lying about that whole motherfucking situation. Because when he walked up and they giving that and they saying they thought everything was cool and squashed. And he was like, Mom, that's my girl and that's her mouth. And whatever whatever way she want to handle it. I'm like, he know, he know to respect his motherfucking people. He ain't stupid. I was sitting here laughing the whole time because I was like, Nally, that's what the fuck you get. So they goes outside because she walks up and... As she walking up, Storm is saying, um, don't talk about people you don't know or something like that. You know, throwing it in the air. He was talking to her. But, we, you know, subliminals. She took it like he was talking directly to her. Going off, caused Drito's side, trying to get Drito on her side. Still calling, um, Karen a rat. Calling her dad a rat and her family is a fucking rat. Drita had to tell her, like, look... Our code, we, we don't do family. We don't talk about family. Leave family the fuck up out of it. But no, she's fucking immature. Even when Big Ant was telling her, leave family out of it. I'm like, oh my gosh, she's so young and immature. Oh my God. That's the whole time I'm sitting here watching this because I'm sitting there like, they're trying to school your dumb ass. The code of this bullshit. And you're not getting it. And you putting this shit on fucking TV. You're going to, girl, you better watch your motherfucking back trying to be out there. Somebody going to fuck her up. You know, Drita did say, you know, the way I am with my hands, she is with her mouth. I'm like, but she don't have the hands like you. So she should be quiet a little bit. I'm sorry. So then she goes, you know, like I said, they all outside and she's calling, you know, Karen a rat or whatever. Karen walks up. She was like, well, let me ask you something real quick. You know, and then she started talking about the way Storm or whatever. Karen was like, look, I don't, I don't let people talk to me like this. And I was so here for it. Like, bitch, that's not how you come at somebody and you weren't supposed to be grown. So now you want to address me like a thought? I'm going to treat you like one. Like, bitch, I'm going to drag you off the motherfucking curb. Like, come on. Like, that's what I don't like now. She's too fucking immature for me. So, you know, her and Karen going at it because she was like, who the fuck are you? She was like, I'm Karen. Who the fuck are you? She was like, I'm Nally. I was like, okay, at least Nally ain't backing down. So, this is going to be a good fight. Okay? So, then she called her a rat. Oh, my God. Everybody seemed like everybody stopped breathing and shit because they know what's going to come after this. And I was sitting there like, oh, my God, Karen, hit this hoe. Like, fuck all that being lady. Like, hit this hoe. This is what my wife is for. I'm just saying. Usually my wife let them get down and show the shit and all kind of shit. So I want to see it. So they going, it looked like they all like in an alley or something all of a sudden. 
and she's talking shit and Karen all up in her face and I'm sitting there like yeah so then cameras kind of go black then we're gonna see it next week but I'm like oh my god I don't like her your man is not here for you because it looked like he was dragging her away from the argument or whatever because he know being from the hood he fucking knows I'm telling y'all he knows he he ain't that into her and he is he ain't got time for that bullshit he told her last time he didn't have time for this. This time he's telling you he ain't got time for that drama. I'm telling you ladies, some dudes don't like drama. That's not fucking cute to them. So, um, mm -mm. Mm -mm. so tell me what you guys think of Mob Wives Season 5 Episode 2. Um, sorry I don't got no notes, but I just was trying to go off of what I remember. Tell me what you guys thought about it, who you thought was going to win, do you think... Who do you believe in a in a situation? Do you believe Karen or do you believe um, Natalie? The Renee and Drita thing, I think they just need to hurt big aunt. All of them need to work that shit out if they so call friends and you know. And I felt Karen when she was like, y'all don't know this bitch. Y'all don't know her family. Y'all don't know her friends. Y'all don't know nothing about this girl. And y'all just believe in her. Like, what are y'all loyal to lie? Anyway, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, Xbox Live. I do everything by the ghetto view, T-H-A, not T-H-E. Um, sorry this video is going to be up late. It was, something is wrong with my thing where it wouldn't upload, so I had to go through a whole other thing to upload. So it would be taking a little minute to figure it out. So, yeah, um, I'll see you guys probably in another next video. If you don't watch my other videos, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, like the video. Make sure you check out Ashley Miller. Much love from KY. Some more love TV. We all do Mob Wife reviews. Talk to us and we'll talk to you back. Alright, peace out.